The real work that the students did was about a month and a half earlier when they started designing the cars. Did you take measure? I put the wheels on. Since I'm a driver, they had to measure how long it will be, how wide the uh, front axle will be. We wrote a paragraph about each, every, everything, how everything was going to be built. So he would make sure that everything looked good and was ready for us. And we couldn't move on to build this until everything was set up, all the writing was done. He was trying to make sure we actually learned something out of this. And he wants to have fun, but he also wants to learn. This is Mr. Merrill's class in engineering. The goal here is to design and build a soapbox car and then race it. Get set! Go! Go! But first, the cars need to be tested and a strategy planned. Keep my foot uh, proper. Make sure I get the brake. Hit the brake when I need to. Well, I don't want to put it out there, so we're going to keep it a secret. Push harder, hard, as much as we can. The final touches are finished. All testing has been completed, and now it's race day. All races to their parts. We're in the first design phase of the soapbox cars. It was hard for them to grasp how they were going to actually build the thing. Um, but now that they've actually done it, I think it gives them a real sense of accomplishment. And from that sense of accomplishment, their goals are already set. When I grow up, I want to be a judge, but I have to be a lawyer first. It's like a 10-year process in college. Won't mind. I like school a lot, so I'll be all right. I want to be an aerospace engineer or a, a U.S. Marshal. I really got excited because I'm, I'm used to like building, because the first thing that come to mind in like designing, because like the first job I wanted to become or do was I could be an architect. We'll be moving to the semifinal round. And from this lesson, we have learned that everybody is a winner. Go to Disney World? Well, Mr. Bridges said he was going to give us a group, a whole group a dollar <laughs> and tell us to split it. <laughs> tell you to split it? Yeah. So you're not going to Disney World? <laughs> no. Nope. I wish we could. Pete O'Neill, ABC2 News.